Hi folks, my name is Justin. Unfortunately, Vash can't make it here today. He is currently auditioning to be an instructor at SoulCycle. So today we have... Emily. Beautiful. Let's get this started. So today we're going to talk about the movie Money Monster, starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts. The movie is about George Clooney, who is the host of like a Money Matters kind of show. The place gets taken hostage by a guy who lost a lot of money in a recent financial issue, and he wants to find out why his money was taken, and he feels that there was something bad that happened. Did you like the movie? I did. Yeah? I really did. Okay. I, okay. I didn't like all of my experience at the movie, but that's, that's theater etiquette coming into play. Not the movie, Not the, the people. Not the movie. I don't like people. I like movies. I didn't hear what was on the other side of About you. About an hour into the movie, people came in to a, a rather empty theater and sat right next to me. That's weird in its own right. I would like to think they weren't just talking. I think one of them was translating some of the movie for the other person, which is fine. But if it's an empty movie theater yeah. and you know you're going to do that, talk, maybe don't, don't be near maybe anybody. don't sit and on my lap. But the mm. first that first hour of the movie before they got there, I was you I was were... having a great day. I really enjoyed this yeah. movie myself. I thought um, it was terrific. I do like Jodie Foster as a director. She does drama pretty darn well. As she should. Yeah, she's I mean That was yeah. always kind of her thing. You don't always think rom-com. You don't ever think rom-com, do you? Did Jodie Foster ever do a rom-com? It makes me almost uncomfortable uncomfortable to see with other people because they have these little moments that are like super dark funny. And yeah. and I don't really laugh at those. I go like, ooh, and everybody hearing- Some people laughed. I skip the laughter part and just go to the ooh and then judge the people that are laughing. And <laughs> my mind's like, this is why the well, world is such a dark place because people are like, oh, it's funny. Then I was judged. There's no question about that. Do you like Julia Roberts? I do. This is gonna be really specific and strange, maybe. Something about like her forehead tension and her lip tension that reminds me of my mom. Something And about, that's good or you don't good. like your mom? No, it's great. It okay, you I wasn't sure. I love my mom. Okay, I, I wasn't sure where we're going with my this. This is a fifty fifty call. I think it makes me like a little more involved and invested in her emotions in the movies because <laughs> It's like your mom on screen. Yeah, well, and she doesn't really look anything like my mom. I will say this, and look, this is a simple thing. This is a New York thing, I apologize. They send a producer around to different no. locations during okay, the show. Okay, I loved this part. At one point, he's like in Midtown, and they say, go down the VC Street, which is really like the southern tip of Manhattan. <laughs> if you got there in an hour, you're doing well. They were in a van. <laughs> They weren't taking the train, they were in a van, they were driving. You're not driving the financial district quickly. As one who has actually been hit by a car in New York, had to wait for an ambulance, I had to wait a while. And you the got whole hit time, by a car in New York? Yes! Holy crap. Like right between the shoulder blades. Oh no! Up and down, but like the best way you could get hit by a car because like- There's a best way there's you There's a best hit by way. A car? You see it happened, he didn't run me over, he just hit me. So okay, that's I guess that is point better. number one. Yeah. Number two, I stood right up, so that's great. I don't know, I didn't like bash my head on the pavement or anything, you know. Sure, I sure. I stood up, the driver stayed, he had insurance. All of these things are the best way to get hit by a car. I would, I would prefer, I like how you have a list of best would, way to get hit by I've, a car. I've thought about this a lot. And it was like six in the morning, there was no traffic, but still, there was traffic somewhere, I assume. Sure, sure. And the whole time I was just thinking like, <laughs> Thank God I'm not really <laughs> gravely injured because... I could walk to the emergency room right now. I probably, probably could have just gotten on the train. So should we review the movie? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Um, I am totally at least a four. I was between a four and a five, to be honest. Yeah. I would say it's totally worth time going to the theaters and enjoying it. I feel like I should have some other like exciting opinion, but I completely agree with you. I think... <laughs> what, okay what, was, what was the matinee? It was like seven ninety nine at the yeah. end. It was worth $8 in an empty movie theater. Thank you everybody for watching the show. Feel free to subscribe to the page. It was last week. And actually, instead of DVD, uh, I happened to do a web series that had episode one just come out this week. So if you want to watch Shameless me... Shameless plug! Absolutely. Not do this and be pretend to be an actor in something. You can click on that part, hopefully. Or in the description down below. We'll pretend have a link to, to it. to be an actor. Yeah, just in case no one not likes like my acting. Not like pretend to be a character. It's, it's, it's me off-putting the fact that I might not be a good actor. That's what that is. <laughs> Ah. It's like, in case I'm terrible, you can, uh, you can say I pretended to be an actor. Self-confidence. It's a winner right Cheers. here. Cheers. Self-confidence. <laughs>